It was a national day of prayer and fasting to intercede on behalf of the nation. The day was observed under the theme, If My People Pray. Despite calls for churches and halls of assemblies to remain open to coordinate and implement united prayer, the doors of some remain closed. Notwithstanding, there was a mood of seriousness throughout the island as the day of prayer and fasting was observed. Even school children were deeply involved. The minister in the Prime Minister's office says the activity can assist people in living better lives through spiritual recuperation. Tessa Mangal says we must recognize that we can work to develop our spiritual and moral qualities through prayer. By praying, we are accepting that someone more powerful than us is in control. We are showing our humility and our equality with all others who pray. By fasting, we are admitting that our sustenance comes not only from food, but from the Almighty. Mangal says activities of such spiritual magnitude are very important in the development of the island. The government senator says prayer is important if St. Lucia must progress. If we all take a few minutes today to pray, to fast, to remind ourselves of our God and our fellow man, we will testify to the fact that only true religion can give purpose to human existence. As individuals of different faiths, we all have something in common, our country. Ahead of the observance, some St. Lucians thought the initiative would benefit the island. The National Day of Prayer and Fasting was the first of its kind for St. Lucia. Shannon Lebon, HDS News, Channel 4.